Lost in the middle of the ocean, 3,700 kilometers from the coasts of Chile, like the Earth in the middle of the universe, we are still trying to understand some of the mysteries of Easter Island. The origins of its inhabitants is still a puzzle. Geneticians suppose they were Polynesians, arrived after a 12-day journey in a pirogue from the Marquis Islands. Why did this civilization, which possessed the world's best navigators, fade away without ever returning to sea again? When the first pirogues arrived, the island was inhabited by birds and covered in palm trees. When the Dutch landed in 1700, there were no birds, no trees, but giant stones. What were they? How did they get there? They were Moai, faces of ancestors. Each clan competed to erect its statue. The trees, to the last one, had been cut into logs, and this allowed them to transport the stones from the quarry to the edge of the sea. But a legend says the Moai walked to their pedestals on the slopes held back by ropes which swung from right to left to make them go forward. A crew reconstructed this and the experiments worked. The fact remains the inhabitants have destroyed their environment. Deforestation, soil erosions, famine, tribal wars and cannibalism. The survivors of this ecocide were caught up in colonization. The Dutch introduced syphilis, the Portuguese and Chileans carried the population of as slaves and left smallpox, which was the final straw. Not taking advantage of their help to decipher Easter Island writing a puzzle in the form of hieroglyph. <laughs>